right, good morning everybody. Welcome to Thursday. How are you? Welcome into Thursday. Let's see what's going on. Spiritual path guidance for those watching, please. Um, if you're interested in more, if you want to go deeper, obviously if you're not part of Pathfinders, there's an extended. But if you are part of Pathfinders, we do a great live on Thursdays. Uh, Q&A live most of the time. We just have uh, an amazing conversation and it's all driven by you. So if you want to join that, the link is below. Let's see where we go. What is going on? Deep breath. Deep breath, everybody. Okay. Yeah, get your get your shoulders out of your ears right now. <laughs> okay. All right. Passion and pleasure. Put this away. Passion and pleasure. Infinite abundance. I've been talking about this a lot lately. Grounding. So there's some of you out here who are doing a very, very good job of getting yourself to the new earth. And part of that lesson, part of those lessons are about m being able to master the 3D in some way. Uh, and it, you know, it's sort of like you're not getting, you're not going on to college if you if you can't pass the SATs or you can't pass the the entrance exam or right like there's some kind of bar there's some kind of um, admission process and if you're resisting that one of the pieces of it is learning about manifesting learning about grounding learning about the relationship of joy and happiness to being to being a positive powerful manifester. All right, so if you're rejecting some of these steps in here and you're having, you know, a very, um, you know, sort of up and down kind of experience as you're, you know, working through your ascension process, then that can be the case is that you might be, you know, not embracing certain lessons that are important for you to embrace. Hanged man, definitely. Look at that. Hanged man, uh, emperor, nine of pentacles. Ace of Wands. Wow, that's beautiful. Ace of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Four of Cups. Knight of Wands. Seven of Pentacles and Star. Some of you are freeing yourself from limita the limitations of your own mindset around money. Okay? And what you believe money is, what you feel the energy or the frequency of money is, um, the energy of frequency of money is about flow. It's about joy and happiness and inspiration and all of these things. It gets stuck, Four of Cups, it gets stuck when there's this either overworking or um, lack of joy, lack of joy in your work. If that's happening, if there's some kind of, of heaviness to it. It's, it's, it's all about lightening up. It's all about stepping into that, that energy of amazing, cool, fun. Wow, this is amazing that this is happening, right? Like when you hear yourself saying that all the time, like you're getting synchronicities, you're getting um, opportunities coming across your path. You're just like, oh my God, that's amazing. When those start to dry up, when you feel like you're not having as many of those anymore, you feel like you're not really um, on your path, it can, it can be a situation where um, you're not having any fun. I know that sounds kind of frivolous to some of you. But having fun is part of creating joy on this planet. Having fun is part of you shining your light. That's what's really being shown to me here is what's necessary here. This is the light and playful energy, Knight of Wands and the Star. I feel like you're being offered a chance to go down the road of play and fun. And some of you are like, no, that has no relationship to financial well-being, financial, oh my God, <laughs> yeah, a little bit of hairspray there. Um, it has no relationship to fun or joy. You have this mindset about what work means, and maybe we should just dispense with that um, term. Maybe should we dispense with the term of work? and move into the energy of exuberant expression of your energy, right? Move into creativity, move into joy. And I do feel like some of you have had the experience of dealing with 
others who are trying to create their own fiefdoms, create their own powerful territories. You may be the one now who's stepping into creating your own powerful fiefdom or your own powerful uh, kingdom. And it's how you're going to get there is not only inspiration, ace, ace of wands, ace of pentacles here, but by looking at things differently. By really looking at things differently. Joy and happiness. Infinite abundance. Grounding. Having a good time is like your call into the universe of, I want more of this. If you're in a situation with money where, if you ever, I mean, I've seen this before on the lives. If you ever say, I hate money. If you ever say that money goes away it's about learning to work with the energy it might be a little challenging to look at things differently you know especially if you've been looking at them a certain way for a long time but that's part of the deal okay and it how much is it upset how much upset does it cause in you when you realize it's not really about hard work it's about strategic effort it's about stepping into passion and pleasure and fun and joy and letting go and releasing and having a good time. How much does that ping your own sensibilities of, well, I need to be a certain amount. Of, this is really for the, um, the, the workaholics among us. <laughs> okay. I think that really, this message is really about that. Like, it seems to me that some of you might be saying the more hard effort I apply, the, the less it moves, the less things move, the more I kind of, you know, force and focus and push and do all the things that may have worked in the 20th century, the less it's working. It's kind of a, you know, confusing place to be, right? Because you're like, well, um, if I'm not a plot, if I'm not doing the hard work of this, then how's anything ever going to move? I do feel like some of you are at a crossroads about this and this is a very uh when you step into this different way of applying yourself things would be much easier okay okay just getting some clarification here lovers and death and five of swords not the one underneath here justice okay so this has to do with an end to this, an end to people telling you what to do, an end to a hierarchical society, a, a hierarchical, um, you must do this in order to move down the road. And I feel like the choice here is about like, okay, I'm, I'm going to transform out of this. I'm no longer in this five of swords energy. I no longer want to be like, this to anybody. I don't want to be a micromanager. I don't want to be anything like that. I just want things to flow and flow. They will when you do the counterintuitive thing of stepping into your um, mission. And that my darling friend is what North node is all about. North node is about Charlie. It's not about Charlie. North node is about understanding and recognizing that there's a new path for you to follow in this life. The reaction that people have to North Node is very interesting to me because it seems to fall along a couple of different lines. If I see my North Node and think, oh, no, ah, uh, not doing that, all right, that's a resistant attitude. If I see it and I'm kind of like, I don't know, I'm not sure if that, you know, just doesn't really strike a chord with me or something like that because it's not familiar, that can be an indicator of something else. Or something that's like, oh, finally, like I've been, I've been nibbling around the edges of this for my whole life and I'm finally seeing it. So um, that's why I do that North Node class. This is what, this is about seeing things differently. So I was always of the opinion that I had to work really hard um, and apply a lot of effort and be, you know, in a hierarchical uh, system and, and have, you know, work be awful. I really learned that, that work was supposed to be awful. And I feel like what's happening here is 
when we have that mindset of work being awful, first of all, we need to step into our work and our mission, North Node. Mine is about uncovering information and sharing it. Eighth house, Gemini. Uncovering secret knowledge and sharing it. Gemini, the messenger. Okay? And that's how I learned that it was... It fit when I was a reporter producer. It fit, it fit, it fit. And I was moving along. What I missed was Leo. Be seen doing it. Hence the channel. So if you can go toward that mission, um, I feel like a lot of us are holding on to South Node lives. South Node is past life. This is something you already have, <clears throat> you've already accomplished. It's like going back to fifth grade math. Super easy, right? No challenge, no nothing. And that's fine, but it's boring. It's going to get boring. It's not what you're here to do. It's going to drain you of energy. <clears throat> you need to move forward, okay? Don't go back. All right. So um, I do feel like there's some Uranian energy about breaking out of patterns, not looking back. Death energy, Scorpio about transformation. Justice about balance. Gemini energy here. This is about making choices. So you have all the air signs here, plus Scorpio and Aries. All right, um, Scorpio, Aries. We will take a look at these um, signs in the extended. I'm really feeling like some of you, you, some of you will resist and resist and resist this new paradigm. And I do feel like Uranian energy of breaking through is coming. Breakthrough. Okay. All right. If you want to continue with me, the link is below. If you're part of our Pathfinder group, the rest of this reading starts right now. Mm -hmm.